Welcome back to the center of it all. Now it's that time of year where you're trying to find the perfect present for everyone on your list. Well, why not try looking local at some of these handcrafted gifts? Crow's Nest is a community of artists and skilled crafters that make unique gifts and works of art. Some of their products include handmade jewelry, wearable art, carvings, home decorations, and food. We like to create lots of different things, but we really have a passion for storytelling. We like to tell your personal stories through either wearable art, um, home decor, or furniture even, or even a chainsaw carved piece. Janice is very creative and can make jewelry or art out of pretty much anything. A lot of times people will have um, some old jewelry from their mom or grandma and they would like to have them repurposed into something that's a little bit more to their liking. So. Um, I don't know, it could be anything. Maybe grandma's beads, old pearls, pins, keys, lockets. Whatever it was that she treasured has sentimental value to you. It may look like a bunch of junk to everybody else, but to you, it really has some sentimental value. This isn't just about making something pretty. It's about getting to know the clients on a personal level and figuring out what is special to them or what memories they hold close. I love getting to know people and helping them articulate in an artistic way what it is that they want to say or have in their home. Since the pieces are made out of all different materials and contain special kinds of knickknacks, they are definitely one of a kind. You know, I love hearing the comments that people get um, when they wear their pieces out. Uh, you know, they just get, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And who did that? And could she make something out of China? Well, yes, of course, I can make something out of China. Um, can she do this? Can she do that? And it's like, wow, tried that but I'll try. <laughs> a lot of time, effort, care, and research goes into every one of her creations. Each of one of the pieces comes with a handwritten story or poem. But to know that you've made that connection with somebody, that's like the ultimate feeling, right? That you have made them and that their memory is special and now that they can cherish it and wear it. Every time they wear it, it, it reminds them of that person or that time. And you're a part of that. I love that. Denise walked me through some of the current items that she is working on and explained what each piece represents. Okay, this piece is really interesting. It's not really jewelry, but it is wall art. So this will be a wall cross. These beads belong to a family member whose mom used to make these beaded necklaces while she was in the nursing home. And they just remember the joy that Anne had made her have by making these beaded necklaces. So I am incorporating them into this wall cross. I'll take them apart and then I'll strand them and continue to wire wrap them around this beaded cross along with her brooch that she wore diligently to dinner every day. So this will become a keepsake for them to hang on their wall. This collage of things, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make out of it yet, but it's just a good representation of some of the junk that people may have in their junk drawer. But for this person, it means a lot. He has a photograph here of um, some family members that were in the military and the old watch. Uh, this film was probably some, one of those members as well, some keys, an old fuse. I'm thinking maybe a shadow box would be really uh, creative for him to do that. This piece is going to be lovely. It's going to be a nice, beautiful, chunky um, statement necklace. This will be all arranged nicely. Beautiful blues. Um, I can't wait to make that one. That'll be really fun. Uh, blue and silver, my absolute favorite color. Another project that they are working on is farm tables for their daughter's wedding that will be in June. She wants kind of an industrial type farm table and a sit down dinner. So as you can see over here, if you pan over, you'll see the prototype that we made for Sarah and for Will. And there was good news, bad news about it. And uh, Sarah and Will came into State College about a month and a half ago and to do some wedding planning and whatnot. And she came down, she saw the table and the good news was she absolutely loved it. The bad news is I need to make 19 more. Ed took me into his shop and showed me some of the woodworking steps it takes to make these tables. For this, safety is really paramount. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is put safety glasses on you. Okay. 
That's great. To protect that lens, to make sure nothing's going to get hurt. Farm tables are great. They give, an they give an opportunity for people to kind of come together and have a family style meal rather than everybody preparing their own plate and all that. It just kind of brings family together like back in the day. After the wedding, some of the tables will be for sale on their website. At Crow's Nest, they really take the time to get to know their customers and make sure they have a great finished product. I think it's homey. You know, we all are looking for a place to belong and I think this helps us stay connected to those that we love and the things that are special to us. Not only that, it's unique. You know, it's about you and somebody else or something that is special to you. Many of these artists will offer custom works and will personally work with you to make the perfect gift. Coming up next, Mel will be making a sweet potato pie.